This is Bam Adebayo, and when I say this, I do not say it lightly. He is the most versatile defender we have in today's game. Sorry Ben, if we like to admit it or not, every defender can be classified into a defensive archetype. Rudy Gobert, he's an elite rim protector. Kawhi Leonard, a superb wing defender. Draymond Green, a mobile big. Each of these players are all worldly on the defensive end and masters at their role, but do have weaknesses in their game. For example, Gobert and Draymond, though can hold their own on the perimeter, aren't your ideal choice to guard the outside, and the same can be said with Kawhi in the interior. Bam Adebayo on the other hand is a combination of each of these archetypes. His defense doesn't falter depending on the situation you put him in. He has no holes in his defensive game. And when I say that, I'm not saying he's a better defender than these three. What I am saying is he's a more versatile defender than each of these players. To understand Arabayo's versatility on defense, we have to look at his body type. But guys, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. We are growing right now, and it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Each like pushes my content out more and helps me, which in return gets me to push out more content for you. So join the community. With that being said, let's get into the video. Bam Adebayo stands at 6'9", which is pretty undersized for a center. But that height difference doesn't serve as much of a disadvantage as you would think. A large reason why is because of the evolution of the game. Teams have elected to play from outside in, sparing Bam of numerous post-ups and making a 6'9 center more than feasible. And when teams do decide to go against him with their bigs, Bam has shown he's more than capable stopping them in their tracks. This is because he weighs 255 pounds, which is slightly above the average weight of a center. That allows him to stand his ground and not be backed down by most. Then there's the issue of centers just easily shooting over top of him. Not so fast though. Bam has a very disproportionate wingspan to his height, stretching 7 feet 1 inches. In every defensive breakdown video of mine, I always try to hammer the point. Having a large wingspan is so beneficial in basketball. It makes blocking and contesting shots easier, stealing the ball, and guarding players who are taller than you easier. Bam uses his wingspan perfectly to punish bigs who try to challenge him at the rim. Couple that with his insane leaping abilities of 38 and a half inches, him being undersized is quickly compensated by his jaw dropping leaping abilities. As a center, he has one of the highest verticals in the league. That makes him such a force when protecting the rim. Opponent's field goal percentage dropped by 4.5% when Bam is mining the rim. And that stat doesn't even do him justice, because when he's on the court, opponents tend to settle for the mid-range, and he's always switching, not playing directly under the rim, like some of the other centers in the league. So that inevitably is going to put him in wishy-washy spots and bring down this number. Bam is one of the few athletes in the NBA that displays his freakish athleticism on the defensive end regularly. He regularly chases down guards for blocks, and he's like an immovable object when players drive at him and try to take him down. He just absorbs the contact fully and contests slash blocks the shot. Look at this clip here. Braun puts his head down, drives, and bumps him to create that separation for a layup. It's worked countless times throughout his career, but it doesn't phase Bam. He just stays with him and swats the ball at the rim. Bam is such a freak of nature when it comes to this stuff. He's just so freakishly strong, and that is exactly why he's one of the few players in the league that can hold their own against Giannis. Giannis can't just expect to run right through him or even speed by him every possession. Bam is just too strong and too long. His lateral agility should be illegal for a man at his size. How many bigs or even guards have you known to be able to stick with Curry and Kyrie? two of the best ball handlers in the game. Bam possesses the freakish athleticism to not only move his feet quick enough to stay with these two, but has the discipline to not overread their moves. He can stop and go at their pace and suffocate them into a turnover. 
or just take a bad shot. He can hug them tight on defense because if they blow by him, he's got the speed and wingspan to meet them at the rim. With Bam on the court, there isn't a thing called mismatches with him. He welcomes these switches and that's something you can't do with most bigs in the league. Just look at this clip here. KD gets ahead of steam and even his lanky frame can't get the shot past Bam. If you're still not convinced of his versatility, how many big men do you know that can function in a 3 4 court press then fall into a 2-3 zone? How many bigs do you know are involved in switching, blitzing and dropping back on defense? The answer is easy. No one. Except Bam. Bam is the type of defender every team wants. He's a great rim protector, wing defender and can guard the pick and roll. His active hands and massive wingspans don't let easy pocket passes go through and makes hitting the roller quite difficult. Bam is the most versatile defender in the game, but his game altering defense doesn't stop there. His off ball defense is quite a sight and doesn't get the recognition it deserves. A lot of great defenders are phenomenal individual defenders, but are subpar team defenders. They lack the discipline to stay focused on everything that's happening on the court. This isn't the case with Bam. He's always in tune with the personnel on the court and the moving parts on it. Look at this genius defensive play here. He sees Kyrie's getting doubled and begins to sag off his man, knowing Kyrie's going to hit the player the Heat are doubling off of. He uses his long outstretched arms to snatch the ball for a steal. Look at this play here. He closely follows Tatum while off ball to deter him from driving to the hole then uses his active hands to disrupt the pass, forcing the Celtics to reset. Here he's guarding KD, who quickly hits Joe Harris with a pass. Bam notices Robinson is caught up on a screen, and quickly closes the gap between him and Robinson with a jab to scare Harris away from driving, and giving Robinson enough time to recover back. Now, Harris has lost his window to get a wide open shot, and passes it back to KD. And that's exactly where Bam is, to contest the shot. Bam also has excellent ball denial skills, making his opponents work extra hard to get the ball. This applies to players of all sizes. Here you see Giannis trying to establish a post presence, parking right outside the block. Bam recognizes this and quickly takes away the front, preventing a dump off from occurring. He does the same thing with Zion, fighting and not letting him be comfortable forcing Zion to be in a position he's comfortable with, and that leads to an easy steal. Bam regularly forces players he guards to take uncomfortable shots. Here Ingram drives right at Bam, but is slowed down as Bam slides and cuts his angle of attack. Ingram then needs to take it wide, forcing him to cover more ground to get to the rim. Bam, instead of trailing him, goes right to the rim and punishes him. Here, you see him do the same thing with Durant. KD drives to the hole and is cut off by Bam playing the angles and the swarm of heat players in the interior. This forces KD to take an off balance shot and air ball. He's always aware with what's happening on the court and is always the first to react when one of his teammates get blown by by putting himself in between his opponent and the rim. Bam simply doesn't have a weak aspect to his defensive game. They are all strengths, and pair this with his high motor and high effort on defense, his defense is a spectacle to watch. This defensive possession basically capsulates his defensive awareness and versatility on the court. Just keep your eye on Bam as he blasts Kemba in the pick and roll near half court, then sprints back into the lane to cover his man Tice near the rim, then helps on the Wanamaker drive forcing him to give it up, then rotates to the other side to stop the Tatum drive, which leads to an easy steal by Tyler Hero. This is Earn Your Ranks, where we only talk about ball. Signing off.